and here comes a train from Blandover on its way to London. off it goes. Right, I'm just cycled up from what's known as Middlewike and um, heading towards Finkley. Finkley is in that direction and just zoom around. Bags come from comes from there. Um, they recently announced they're moving a lot of it to Poland for obvious reasons. The cost is a lot cheaper to manufacture tea bags in Poland than in the UK. Um, that's an empty warehouse building. I suppose. The company moved up north of England to where the cost of labour again is cheaper. Um, the local council, I don't think they've got any brains to be on this with you, because they allow a planning application for a big warehouse for the co-op on the other side of Landover. Well, the warehouse that's been built on the other side of Landover for the co-op I would say the co-op should have moved into this building that's been empty for the last 10 years. It's about the same size, if not even bigger. So the council have allowed the co-op to build on a nice field like this one, a big warehouse, when they had an empty warehouse sitting there. But that's the council for you, brains in their feet. So for now I'll move around, I'll show you some other area down there. That's the football stroke rugby pitch down there. Um, also a little area known as Pickett's Peace. And if I just pan around over there, if I zoom in, find those trees is what's known as Lower Wyke. And then also behind the trees is what's known as Middle Wyke. to Upper Wyke, um, Harrisbourne Town is also down there and so is St Marybourne. This road here or goes from Blandover down to those villages of St Marybourne and Harrisbourne Town. Quite a busy road from now on time to time. I'm actually quite surprised how little traffic there is this evening. Like. Over there you've got Smannel. Behind the tree is another village, and there's an area over there called Little London behind the trees, another little village. Nice sunset for you there.
Okay, we're now at an area known as Finkley. Down there, behind those trees, there's two little villages. The first one that you'd come to if you carried on walking down there is a village called Smannel, and then the next one after that is Little London. Just pan around for you, just to look at the nice countryside and gorgeous sunset. Look at that. That there is new new housing development, which uh, again has been built on fields like this, and the council granted the planning permission to build 15, I think it's 1,500 houses, possibly more than that, and more countryside going yet again. And in the centre of Blandover, there used to be a factory, a cigarette factory, made cigarettes. And that's been closed down, I would think, for the last 20 years. Nothing's been done with it, been left empty for years on end. Again, council could have told the developer to knock the old cigarette factory down and build houses on it. But no, they granted planning permission to build houses on farmland to lose more countryside. I'm pretty sure a lot of it is to do with the council just getting huge backhanders, sums of money from these developers and people that want to build on land. Um, I think a lot of it's also to do with the cuts that the government uh, put out nationwide throughout the UK. Um, cutting money back left, right and centre. So councils think to themselves, well, if we're not getting enough money from the government, where are we going to get some money from? So they allow development to be built on farmland to get make the shortfall up from, that they're not getting from the government anymore. But at the same time, you're losing this countryside. Over there is uh, the Three Wikes, Lower, Middle and Upper. And just over there is uh, Pickett's Piece. And just come round as I pan round. Okay, you come in, you're slowly coming to what's known as Blandover. There's the big warehouse that's been empty for 10 odd years. Ideal would it, that would have been for the carp, but no council let them build a new one. And behind those trees is Blandover. That's the flower mill, just zoom in. Yep, that's the flower mill in Blandover. That is actually still in operation. Haven't yet outsourced that or moved it to uh, Eastern Europe where it's cheaper. Then hold your breath, it's still seem likely to go at some point, I should imagine. At some point in the UK, if you want to be out of work, it'll be out uh, in Eastern Europe. One car time. It's getting up. Usually a sign that rain is on the, on the way, which is right because they said weather for tomorrow is rain. 